Turn it off. I'm not turning it off, and you don't touch me again. So I'm leaving. Your right. uh, for what? For, for uh, This is a First Amendment protected this activity. Be, okay, this will be an officer. I'm not going to tell you to make complaints on the officers who showed up the first time, but it sounds like they need to have something checked on that end, if you understand me. I'm asking you to arrest a criminal that I have evidence of. You know? But that doesn't put them above the law, sir. Can I just give your name and badge number? Okay. Well, I actually don't have to give it to you. You don't have to give me your name and badge number? I don't. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today, we are at the Louisiana State Police Headquarters here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We are here today to not only peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, but to hold the two Baton Rouge City constables accountable for their criminal actions and their assault against me at the City Hall. I haven't had much luck with law enforcement here in Louisiana doing their job and honoring their oath, but let's see how the state police do. Let's see if they do their job. Let's see if they honor their oath and enforce the law. Let's get into it. Excuse me, sir. Yes. yes, sir. Can I have to file something? Um, yeah, I'm looking to uh, file some criminal charges. I was assaulted yesterday. Okay. Uh, where did where did it occur? In the city of Baton Rouge. Okay. You know where Baton Rouge City Police Headquarters is? I did. I went there. The, the issue that I'm having, um, the issue that I'm having is that I was in City Hall. Okay. Um, recording, mm -hmm. and the city uh, constables mm -hmm. pushed me down the steps when they when they removed me from the building okay and i fell and i sprained my ankle i have a left ankle sprain i'm in a, okay. currently in a boot all right no one is trying to help me so i called the district okay. attorney's office and they suggested that i come here the police i've tried to make a complaint with the police the constables and the sheriff's office and no one's taking my complaint even though i have the entire crime oh, on nice. video why would the DA's office send you here? State, the reason I'm asking, state police is not like over city police. How, how is it not? You have jurisdiction throughout the state, correct? Right, yeah. but... So, the highest ranking law enforcement official in a parish is the sheriff. Mm -hmm. So, like, say a... Uh, Say a, a trooper arrests someone, brings someone to jail, the sheriff can, you know, they have the authority to not accept them in prison. Yeah, but what I'm what I'm saying is that no other law enforcement, there's you have a lot of law enforcement out here in Louisiana. Right. Constables, mm -hmm. police, sheriffs, state police, and all the rest of them have not been able to help me. I have video evidence okay. of a crime taking place and none of them want to help me. And I called okay. the district attorney, and they sent me here. So, so if if the agency's internal affairs section uh, doesn't accept it, uh, are you familiar with the attorney general's office? No, I'm not familiar with the attorney general's okay. office. So, there's a section of the attorney general's office called the Office of the Inspector General, and they are, I guess, in cases of like police corruption, stuff like that, they are the ones who investigate that. So if, if your complaint can't be addressed through like uh, Baton Rouge City Police Internal Affairs mm -hmm. or something like that, then if you're, I mean, if you're not satisfied with how they do that, yeah. then that's yeah, it's just the because office. It's just because like, for, for example, officer, is right. that if I pushed somebody down, like an, an officer or anybody, right. and they fell down the steps and hurt themselves mm -hmm. i would be arrested i right. wouldn't be in i wouldn't be investigated i would be immediately arrested because especially if it's on video and i have a witness right. so who's willing to write a statement so but mm -hmm. that none of none of the arrests are happening just okay. and, and my point is just because law enforcement have badges don't make them above the law you're not right. immune to the law so that what i'm saying is that that's why i'm coming here because i was so, actually told to come here by the district attorney so are right. you are you telling me that you can't take my my criminal complaint yes sir you tell me you can't. I can't. State police does not have. So to do a criminal complaint in the city of Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge City Police is the agency that does that. 
Mm -hmm. So, but they're not doing it. That's the right. issue. So, have you seen their internal affairs section yet? The Baton Rouge City Police? No, because yes. it was it was the city constables that. Right, but it occurred in in the city of Baton Rouge. Yeah, so I've spoken to the internal affairs for the city constables, but I have not, okay. and I've, I've spoken to the Baton Rouge City Police. Okay. They, they told me there's nothing they can do so, for me. So you've spoken to internal affairs for city constables? For, for the city constables, correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. I've spoken to internal affairs, but they're not, they're not affecting an arrest. They, they're okay. not doing anything other than an internal review. Right. But that's not, I, there would be no internal review. I could understand if it was a he said, she said scenario. Mm -hmm. This is not a he said, she said scenario. Okay. It's completely on video of them breaking the law and injuring me. I, have, I suffered so, an injury over it. So that would be an assault in the state of right. Louisiana, correct? So when you, uh, when, you, when you went to the city constable, they said they're going to do an internal review, correct? Correct. Did they take a report of any sort? I, I wrote a statement and I gave them a statement, correct? Okay. Yeah. But All at right. the end of the day, that, that they're in a, it's an internal review. I'm right. looking for a criminal complaint. Okay, not an, so not an internal review. So, if you want, if you want, if you don't think that's correct, if you want that addressed, you need to go to the office of the inspector general. Okay. Uh, they, I guess, if if someone feels like the police agency is doing something incorrect, because we get, we get that sort of call frequently here. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody will say, "Hey, I was on the side of the road in." whatever parish uh you know the officer was impolite or whatever and then you know they're calling state police there is a there's an assumption that it goes city parish state mm -hmm. when actually it goes state is the the widest they have the widest territory but the least actual jurisdiction okay and the parish as jurisdiction in their parish. And then the city, like if a uh, sheriff's deputy, uh, let's use a crash for example. There's a, a crash, if it's on a city street, mm -hmm. it's worked by Baton Rouge City Police. We'll stop and ensure there's no injuries, nobody needs an ambulance or something like that, but then we have to call the city and they have to actually do the report. Okay. Well, my, my only concern is that, you know, no law enforcement is helping me, including y yourselves now, okay. you know, but I, so you said the next step would be the attorney general. Is there any right. way I could, are you a supervisor here? I'm a supervisor for about four people here, yes. Okay. Are, but are you a super, I, I want to get it, I, I just want to get it on record that no one's going to help okay. me because it's kind of, it, it's, it's really disconcerting to me that a law enforcement officer okay can push me. I wasn't arrested. Okay. I wasn't, there was no legal action taken against me because okay. I did nothing wrong. All right. I'm just a citizen who, okay. you know, who has the protections of law enforcement in this state. Okay. I was pushed down on video. Okay. I could show you the video. Okay. I was pushed down by the constables mm -hmm. and injured myself. Okay. So, and they injured me as a result. Okay. So, I don't understand why no law enforcement can do anything about it. It's it's kind of disconcerting, and it's probably going to be disconcerting to the public as well, sir. Okay. So is there a supervisor I can speak with of, like, a criminal division here? No. This is administrative office. I mean, there's civilian office workers here. Uh, you know, I mean, if you want to, if you want to speak to a, a troop supervisor, I mean, there's Troop A on Highland Road. But the people here are their administration. You got the criminal records people. You got, you know, the the civilians here working. Okay. All right. So just so there's nothing you could do for me. No, sir. Now, do you know where the attorney general's yeah. office is? No, I do not. Okay. So are you familiar, are you familiar with the state capitol complex? Yes. Okay. So if you're standing at the state capitol, right? If you get, there's a lake right there behind you. So there's four buildings. Uh, like, you got the Capitol here, you got the Capitol Lake. There's four buildings along the lake. The northernmost one is the Attorney General's office. Uh, and like I said, the office you need to speak to is the Office of the Inspector General. Office of Inspector General? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. All Appreciate right. it.
So that would be the fourth law enforcement agency, ladies and gentlemen, that we have tried to get them to do their job and enforce the law. And they're just simply refusing. They're saying there's nothing they can do. What is the point of them being law enforcement? What, what, what is the, the what are we paying our taxes for? It, I don't understand. A crime com was committed. There's a witness, and it's on video. It, it can't get any simpler than that. But you know what? We're gonna keep, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna go down to the attorney general's office right now. I'll see you guys there. Hi, hi, ma'am. How are you? Um, I'm looking to speak to somebody with the investigative division. Okay. Do you have anything on you outside of a metal detector? Um, probably just my phones. phones yeah. Knives or pins or anything? Stick it in here. Mm -hmm. He's in New Orleans, so I can, I'm gonna give you his, his number and you the, can call. There's nobody I can speak to for the investigative division here. The guy that's like the guy's on duty. Oh, we have somebody that's on duty every day. Uh huh. But the guy that's on duty today, he's. In New Orleans. So he's in New Orleans? He's in New Orleans. So I'm going to give you his number. Okay. And you can call him. Okay. okay. That's his name, Mark. Okay. Mark, duty investigator. Thank you so much, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. You too. Special agent Amos can help you. Hi, I'm looking to speak to um, Mark. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. That's all. That's the name that they gave me from the attorney general's office. They yeah. didn't give me your last name. Sorry okay, about that. Mark. But um, no, no worries. Man. <laughs> so I, I'm I need some help. Um, investigator, what was your last name? Amos A M O S. A, a M O S. All right. Wait. I need I need some yeah, help. I um, I I was in City Hall yesterday, and in Baton Rouge, and um, I was filming. I was documenting for a story. I'm a journalist. Um, the okay. two city constables who I'm, as I, I understand now that they are the security for the building. Uh, they had come to me and came up to me and without asking me any questions or anything, uh, said I couldn't record to turn off my camera. Um, and when I asked them why, why would I turn off my camera? They immediately grabbed me, pushed me into the elevator. Um, then once we got off the elevator, they pushed me out the door as they were pushing me out the door. There's, there's steps in front of city hall and I fell down the step. And I twisted my ankle. I rolled my ankle and uh, I wound up getting medical attention later. The reason why I'm reaching out to you, Investigator Amos, is because I've tried every outlet I possibly can, whether it was the constable's office themselves, um, the sheriff's office, the city police in um, Baton Rouge, as well as the state police. I've been to every single location, spoke to law enforcement officers of every single law enforcement agency that I can think of. And I eventually they've led me all to you. Um, they're not doing, they're not doing anything. And I have video of the incident. All right. Unfortunately, the city of Baton Rouge and Paris thereof have sovereignty. So we, we gotta go through them first. Unfortunately, we can't just come in and take over a case. But to begin this, instead of waiting, I know you've already dealt with the city police once. Mm -hmm. Go to the city, go to the, the PD, make a formal complaint. If they don't ask to speak to their internal affairs, because you probably don't want to talk to them anyway, yeah. based off the officers' interactions on the scene. I'm not going to tell you to make complaints on the officers who showed up the first time, but it sounds like they need to have something checked on that end if you understand me i got because it because if you show up someone's in distress and they offer to show you things and you don't that's kind of a failing on their part they need to check themselves yeah and especially with your idea of going along with uh transparency yeah it's like you know if, if you're going to do it do it right yeah okay? for sure now okay for sure all right they have to they have to ha they have to form some type of documentation on this okay if for no other reason than to protect themselves. Okay. Yep. Now, unfortunately, my office is so far removed, especially with the sovereignty of the individual parish or county for that matter. Mm -hmm. It's like we have to, there, there is a long, arduous process for us to come back around to that. Okay. And that's why we rely on them to do their job based off the transparency that should be evident. Gotcha. All right. Thank All right. you, sir. I appreciate your time. I, I, I hope I helped. You did. You 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 absolutely did. Thank you. I right. appreciate it. All right. Have a great day. Thank Bye. You, Mr. Red.
All right, guys, so we made it to hopefully our final destination for the day. It's been a long day. Let's see if the police here honor their oath to the Constitution, law and order, doing their job that the taxpayers pay them to do. We will see. I need to uh, speak to an officer to file a report. Speak to an officer to file a report. Uh, criminal report, uh, criminal uh, charges. Yeah. All right. Hey, how are you doing, officer? Yes, sir. Okay, so two days ago, I was at City Hall filming, just like I'm filming right now, so you know. Um, I was filming in City Hall. Two constables just came up on me, told me to turn off my camera. I said, why would I turn off my camera? They immediately grabbed me, pushed me into the elevator, pushed me out of the elevator, pushed me outside of City Hall. And when they pushed me outside of City Hall, I fell down the steps, rolled my ankle, and caused an uh, ankle sprain. I was not charged with any crimes. I didn't do anything wrong, but yet I have an ankle sprain, and I, as you can see, I'm in a boot. I want to press charges against those constables for assault. Okay, so we can't investigate the agencies like, like that. I can't investigate another officer like that. So what, why, to, why wouldn't you be able to investigate another officer? You'd have to go through the constable's office. You'd have to go through their internal affairs. Department. No, internal affairs would be like an internal thing to where they, you know, investigate them. You're a law enforcement officer. I'm asking you to arrest a criminal that I have evidence of. They're also you know? law enforcement. But that doesn't put them above the law, sir. No, it doesn't. So they broke, they broke the law. They broke the law. Like if, for example, you know, if I, if I showed you evidence, if somebody showed you evidence of me pushing down another citizen or a law enforcement officer or anybody like that, and they showed you evidence of that, and they had a witness, and they had an independent witness, and they brought all that to you as a law enforcement officer. What would you do? Okay. You would you would arrest you would arrest me, right? Because somebody showed you evidence of a crime. It would be your duty as a law enforcement officer, right? Okay, but like I said, law enforcement officers can't investigate other law enforcement. For sure, you, uh, but what I'm, you just admitted you just admitted that law enforcement is not above the law. So why, if, if you're a police officer and I'm showing you that a law has been broken, why can't you arrest somebody that broke the law? It doesn't matter if he's a constable, it doesn't matter if he's FBI, it wouldn't matter. So can I get one second for one second? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, this one, I'm going to send it back to you, but just change that one. All right. Sorry, <coughs> Okay, so the so I just I just came from the attorney general's office. Um, I spoke with an investigator, uh, Mark Amos. He informed me. So the attorney general's office is the highest law enforcement office in the land. He's an investigator in the land in Louisiana. So he informed me that I should come here and that if you guys didn't act on this report after I'm showing you evidence, that you'd be in dereliction of your duty, and then I would have to report you to Internal Affairs. So are you not going to, you know, I understand he's a law enforcement officer. I get it. You don't, you're not going to want to do your job. I get it. But that's just not the way it works. You, you took an oath to the Constitution. That's the, not what I'm your I'm officers. Saying I'm saying that I literally can't do this. First, do you have jurisdiction in, in, in the city of Baton Rouge? Yes, and they have jurisdiction over the city parish, which is above us. Then you go to East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Office. Then you go to state police. So you've gone down. You need to take it up. Yeah. No, but you have jurisdiction at in the city. You have jurisdiction in the city. But they just because they don't they don't they're not a higher level of law enforcement than you, sir. They're just they're you are law enforcement. Yes, it, I'm law enforcement. Mm -hmm. But their jurisdiction is wider than ours. And then, like I said, but just because it's wider doesn't mean anything, sir. Like I'm telling you, I just got this information from the attorney from the attorney general's office. They told me to come here inside. They said you're probably not going to do anything, but 
He said, that would be a dereliction of your duty, and I would, I'm going to hold you accountable. I'm telling you, I don't know if you've seen the video. I don't know if you're aware of the situation of what happens. The people see the video, and it becomes a problem. The people don't like when, when officers don't do their job, sir. And by the way, can I just get your name and badge number? Okay. Well, I actually don't have to give it to you. You don't have to give me your name and badge number? I don't. It's not the policy of the Baton Rouge Police Department to give me your name and badge number? It's not. So you're not going to? No, sir. Are you serious? I'm serious. That's... That doesn't even make any sense. You're a public servant, sir. Okay. All my information is public record, but I'm not going to get... How am I supposed to look up your public record if I don't know who you are? What do you... Can let me get your supervisor, man. You just missed him. That was him walking out. Well, you can get on the radio and call him. I'm asking... Do you not have to give me a supervisor either? You don't have to do that either? He's probably right outside. Can you call him? Can I'll you call for a supervisor? I'll let him know speak to him. All right. Hey, Sergeant. How are you? Hi. Um, I'm looking to press charges on Yeah, you ran everything down. Okay, we're at the bottom of the run. City police, constable, sheriff, state police, FBI. You're going to have to take a complaint. Huh? If it's with us, you go to the constable. With constables, you go to sheriff. Sheriff, you go to state. You got to go up with your complaint, not down. Yeah. So well, I, I, I was I was I was told I was just speaking with the attorney general's office, um, right by the Capitol building. All right. And an investigator there told me that you have jurisdiction inside the city, and that if a crime happens, got to be inside, sheriff though. They over the constable's office, not us. But you're, you're a law enforcement officer, so I get it, that. it doesn't matter. The president can come here and break the law, and you could have the authority to arrest him. Not really. You would. That's totally you, out of my jurisdiction. I no, mean, it's not. Anybody it's who's inside of your city that breaks you the law. You take it to sheriff. That's inside their jurisdiction. So, ABRSO. If somebody broke the law, it, the sheriff doesn't make him a higher status than you. ABRSO. He's, he's, I understand what you're saying. All I right, understand. All right, man. Yeah, have a good day. All right. I got so, a lot of work to do. All right. Yeah, so you, should be doing, you should be doing your work by helping the citizens. Wow. Crazy. A lot of work to do. <laughs> His famous words, a lot of work to do. Famous last words, hopefully, so he could uh, get fired. Famous last words as a police officer and a law enforcement officer. Doesn't honor his oath. Both of them just disappeared. One wouldn't identify himself. Well, guys, as you can see, I'm doing my best here. I need your support. If I didn't have all your support, guys, there's, I wouldn't be able to do this, honestly. But you guys make me strong. I appreciate every single one of you. We the people, we stand together. I went to the state police today, inspector general's office, attorney general's office, the police that the investigator for the attorney general told me to come to. I've talked to everybody, the sheriffs, the constables. I've talked to anybody who I can, district attorney, no one, no one wants to help. No one wants to hold another law enforcement officer account accountable. Ridiculous. But we're going to keep fighting, guys. We're going to keep fighting. I'm not going to give up. I appreciate you guys. Love you guys. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next one. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Long Island audit. Peace.